Hello everyone, it's me again, Alex Dugas, your seminarian intern for the seventh day of our St. Joseph Novena. And on this day, let us turn to St. Joseph as the patron of the dying. Now, oftentimes when I've heard that phrase as patron of the dying or patron of a happy death, it's easy for me to think of those who are dying, of those who are actively dying, those who are in the hospital or in hospice care. And I think my mind turns to them of those who I pray might have a happy death. And that's of course what I'm sure many of us do when we think of the patron of the dying. But I heard a, a small reflection recently that emphasized that in a way, St. Joseph is the patron of all of us in this case, because we all are mortal. We all are gonna die someday. And while it's easy for me as a young person to think that's some far distant day, that someday I'll die, but it won't be in the next few years or something like that, we are all, in a sense, dying. And it's a sad reality. It's a sobering reality. But we have as our companion on that journey, St. Joseph, patron of the dying, someone who we can turn to as a father, reminding us of his presence and the presence of the Lord in our lives as we go about our lives as, our, as Catholics, preparing for that day when we will have this Easter candle in front of our own casket at our funeral. It's a very sobering reality and it kind of, it's hard to think about, especially I'm thinking about it myself, it's difficult to think about. But what comfort can we have from him who died such a happy death, surrounded by Jesus and Mary at his bedside? Let us pray that we have the same, that we have Saint Joseph accompany us throughout our lives, we who are mortal, and that we have Jesus and Mary with us throughout our lives, that we might, with the Holy Family in heaven, adore the Lord. So, sad thought for today, but also while we pray for ourselves and pray for us as we go about this life, remember to always keep in mind those who are dying, those who are actively dying, those who will perhaps die soon. Keep them in your prayers. It is one of the great gifts of being a Catholic that we can, that we know to pray for the dying, that we know how important it is to pray for the dead. All right, well, I'll see you all tomorrow for the next day of our St. Joseph Novena.